the Leon Van Rensburg Cup is next. It's four and a half mile grade one. And at the top, Cat Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg, Mayhem and Ice, Darren Thompson, National King and National Prince Joshua Sutherland, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, there on time, David Hooley, Tinsin, Farrell, Padraig Hogan, Argyle Star, Paul Parsons, Shimon Defay, Padraig Hogan, Dak Lowell, James Shea, First Coalition, Leon Van Rensburg, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, and Shona Fabiola for David Robertson, a level weights there away, and racing a level weights, four and a half mile grade one, the week before the Grand National makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Never has done. I understand why this race is needed, but I don't understand why it's needed this week. This race should be run about week six or seven. And if you want to run another one, run another one over four miles next week at Liverpool, apart from the Grand National, because all this does is just make even more horses be out of the handicap next week and make the Grand National a completely pointless exercise. Next week there will be four horses in the handicap. The rest of them will be running out of the handicap makes it a completely pointless race. Just make the Grand National a grade one if you want and be done with this. It's absolute pointless where it is. It's needed. We do need these long distance races over... Um, uh, you do need long distance wait for age races or what you want to call them conditions races what you want to call them on the jumps there's two fallers there Cat Memorial and Shimon Defay so the top one Cat Memorial and Shimon Defay have both gone as they head down to the fourth that's the other thing that is a, a thing that is a mess up as well I oh, know it's all well and good saying oh, okay where are these people going to run their horses if they go why shouldn't they be allowed to run them in the ground National? of course they should they should never get ratings that high in the first place because they shouldn't be allowed to run in races that warrant ratings like that these sort of horses should be running in handicap chases grade three handicap chases that's what the grand national is it's a grade three handicap chase which is supposed to attract grade three handicappers the odd grade one will go in it if they think they're good enough and they'll give away loads of weight but it doesn't happen every day every year and it's like the annoying part about it a lot of the time is that those top weight horses will fall or will not be able to carry the weight and they'll finish 20th and the first 10 to finish will all be on nine stone 12 and then people will be thinking well do you know what if my horse had run off what it was supposed to run off I might have won a Grand National, but I've ended up running off level weight with a horse rated 30, 40 pound higher than mine. It's, it's just, uh, anyway, I don't know what you do about it. I'm past caring, to be honest, as they get over the 8th, and I was very much doubt I'll have a run next week in the Grand National. I don't think I had one last year. May have just chucked one in because there was nothing, nothing else to do with it, but it is almost pointless unless you've got a really good Grand National Specialist horse. The whole race is a farce. But anyway, and this one doesn't help because the week before it just throws up even more horses that are going to get even higher weights. National Prince is in the lead. Frozen Hope is second. National King is second. You can guarantee both of those two are, I don't look, but they're probably both rated over 160, which immediately puts most people's horses out of the handicap. It's not Josh's fault, not Leon's fault. When these horses do it as well, it's just doesn't appear sometimes to be any thought about future race planning and the way the season pans out and why these should be done and whatever. Oh, no, it's not real. It's not real life, but it's supposed to be a sort of simulation and things. But when was the last time you saw a 160 or 170 rated horse running in the Grand National? Run this race next week, so they're running this instead of the Grand National, and then they can. The grade one trainers can take their grade one wins next week. And the Grand National can go to a bloke who got a load of donkeys on a farm, like it does really most of the time. But anyway, back to this one, as you can guess. Not overly enthralled about the only fictitious race at the Cheltenham Festival being this one. And again, over the 12th. Which is the water, nothing will happen at that. It never does. National Prince is the leader. Frozen Hope is second. National King is third. Ronaldo is fourth. And Tintin Fowler and Shono Fabiola is after that one. And there's a faller there. And Shono Fabiola that's gone. 
with National Prince in the lead as they get to the 14th. Well, Frozen Hope and National King then, Ronaldo and Tintin Farrell. Another interesting thing about it is one of the people who champions it the most about needing these long distance grade one races is John Morgan and he hasn't even got a runner in it. There definitely needs to be some sort of shake up over these long distance races if you're going to make it worthwhile because they're over the 15th. Still got 15 more to get over. Can I keep waffling for the whole of this race? I'm sure most of you have turned it off by now. Anyway, they get over the 16th. National Prince in the lead. Frozen Hope second. National King third. Ronaldo fourth. Tints in final. They're on time as well. That little group as well with Mayhem on Ice leading the second group as they get to the 17th. Looks they're all over okay. Although Ronaldo didn't jump in all that one. If that was the footballer Ronaldo, he'd have fallen over and rolled around for 10 minutes. After hitting the fence that hard. It's National Prince in the lead. Frozen Hope second. National King there on time. Tints in final. And Ronaldo Mayhem on ice. Argon Star is next. The National Prince is in front. And there's one more chance to. Give him a bit of a shout out because he had a rotten day one, Joshua Sutherland, and he took his horses out of the handicap, the three mile handicap, because he didn't want to blow the handicap. So just remember that, that it's not the trainer's fault necessarily, it's the way that the races are planned and the way they've been set out. And it's all been left. This is, oh, I don't know. I mean, this, The races we have have been pretty much the same for the last 10 or 11 seasons. You get the old change, it's changed over to 13 a day from 10 a day, and a few added, but a lot are still in the same places. A lot of races named after people I've never heard of. Main races at the beginning of the season from people who've been long gone, banned for cheating, and they've still got races named after them. It really is time for a massive overhaul if this thing is going to carry on. Because it's a different thing now to what it probably was in. Season three or four. Some of you were around then, I gather. Oh, Stu talks to me about it sometimes. One of the reasons why he's not in there is because he's had enough of it as well. It's National King and National Prince from Frozen Hope. They're on time. Ronaldo, they come down towards the water. Him on ice is just about the back marker. The two best four and a half mile chasers in the race are clear at the moment. With Frozen Hope there on time and First Coalition closing. First Coalition is probably on a par with them as well. As they skip over the 24th, well, the First Coalition didn't jump that all that well. I don't know what sort of course we use at Aintree next week, but we don't get anywhere. <laughs> so we don't get anywhere near as many fallers as they do in the real race. They didn't hardly get any fallers last year, did they? I think the real race, they weren't anywhere, though. Um, which is quite odd. I'm going over the 25th. Maybe we're trendsetters. And maybe the whole of the world, well, the racing world is going to start taking over the SO, following the way of the SO7 league. Let's hope it doesn't. Let's also get fed up with it and stop watching. And there's National King in the lead. Well, Frozen Hope second. First Coalition's gone into third. Then National Prince there on time. Ronaldo's running a big race. I'll get up put up high enough to actually be in the handicap next week if he keeps on going like this then comes tints in final as they get to the 27th i think poor old argyle star has just fallen there he's going to be banned from running next week because he's not old enough he's national king in the lead frozen hope is second ronaldo is third or well, no national prince is third ronaldo is fourth then dakla wall they're heading down towards the third last and over that one they go frozen hope made a mistake there Mayhem on ice is getting a bit closer. National King is clear. With just two to get over. 
National King is well clear. Popped over to second last. National Prince moves into second. And there you go, just in case there was any doubt anything else was going to get into the handicap next week. National King's going to go up with £10 after this, probably. And that will put to anything else getting into the handicap. So, National King is going to win this. Whether it wins next week is a Probably not, because he probably have too much weight. But anyway, National King's going to take it. Josh will sort of mind he's got another grade one to his name. And National King takes it. Frozen Hope is second. Tints in far or third. National Prince then first. Coalition Mayhem on ice. And all the way back to there on time. So let's just want to take a minute to look at the card when it comes. We'll see what ratings these are on and see if we can figure out what might happen to them. And the handicapper has a look at all this before next week national king is the winner and national king's already rated 166 so you can be pretty sure he's going to go up to 175 i would guess from that at least frozen hope darren thompson second that's going to go up to 140 i think probably after coming second to a 166 horse Tits in final, Padre Gogan, you got yourself up to 130. You'll still be out of the handicap next week, so don't worry about it. National Prince will probably stick around where it is, so will First Coalition. Mayhem on ice after that one, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens next week, but I've got a feeling if there's any more than four in the handicap proper, it'll be a bit of a miracle. And I'll start a campaign now. Let's let Argyle Star run. More Parsons, let's make a special thing. The Argyle Stars, a six-year-old, is allowed to run in the Grand National. National King wins this one then for Joshua Southern. Frozen Hope for Darren Thompson, second. Tints in final, Padre Hogan, third. National Prince Joshua Southern again, fourth. First Coalition for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. Last year, Cheltenham Festival done and dusted. Gray's going to take you through the rest of the day's races, which I think are at Fakenham and it's probably the Midlands Grand National as well. And stuff, and... Um, We'll be back at Liverpool next week.